this is a TV license and letter pay up or else and I get these because I don't pay them my TV license and I don't pay it because I don't watch it so if you pay your license you're paying for these I get one every month I've been for two years now I'll probably get them the rest of my life hundreds of thousands of pounds a year spent on these which is basically your money which you're paying for your license fee so if you'll find out more about it keep watching So this is a red letter, um, I get one of these every month, I've done previous videos and showing you and read a lot of letters out, I ain't opened this one yet, it says to the legal occupier and it's got my address on. So the reason I get these letters basically is because I don't pay my TV license and I haven't done now for, it's got to be more than two years because they leave you alone for two years, I notified them, got a letter saying yeah you got to tell us every you got to tell us every two years and I thought no I ain't actually, so um, let me just rip my address off, so uh, that's not on there change of glasses uh, let's see what this one say dear sir madam have you haven't responded to our letters they're going to proceed with the final stages of an investigation an office has been scheduled to visit to find out if i've been watching tv recorded or downloaded illegally you can visit my property any day of the week morning or evening blah 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 procedures down below now there's no there's no um date no no time date when they're coming around it's got a fake reference number cambridge enforcement team what i need to know about the enforcement process first thing they say is they can apply to a court for a search warrant to gain access to your property um they can only do that if they've got evidence that you've been watching tv in other words if you open your door and they can see through your door or through your window that you're watching the bbc that's just sufficient evidence to go to judge and get a search warrant if they can't see that and you don't watch TV, uh, they've got no right to come in your home whatsoever. I don't think you get a judge um, signing a warrant just willy nilly. So, the only people who get prosecuted, as Chili John Carney would say, um, by the way, that's a great channel. Uh, thanks for watching one of our videos, John, and liking that. That's much appreciated. Uh, he's really the man, the king, and the TV license and video business. Watch all his videos, he's got all the information. But the gist of it is, you only get prosecuted if you cooperate and talk to these people. Um, and the, the, the rule is don't say nothing, just when, if anyone turn up, shut the door, no thanks, don't speak to them. Check your curtains if you want. Uh, if they don't go away, call the police. Tell them they're trespassing. Tell them to get off your property. With this letter as a reminder of the law, that's £159 now, so they're saying. I think that's now going up to 172 So for all you people who do um, pay your TV licence, um, I get these letters every month. I don't know, it must cost at least a quid. Postage, cost of the letter. Someone's job to process it all. Uh, press the button on the computer. So you've got hundreds of thousands of people getting these letters every year. Hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not millions, being spent on them. Coming out of your licence pay money. So, um, let me just change my glasses right quick. What I'm saying is, really, I mean, some people, I get comments, some people hate me. Well, what do you just pay? Um, what do you notify them? Well, no, I'm not obliged to do any of that. Um, you know, it's, it's a private service. Um, I don't use it. I don't have to notify anyone of what I'm doing, what I do want and not want. I'm under no obligation to inform anyone of anything. For all those people who don't like it, I'm sorry, that's my human right not to tell people what I do and don't want on any particular day of the week. But for all those who pay your licence, you're paying for these letters, you're paying for the ignorance of the BBC and the TV licensing agency. I mean, the people who come around are just debt collectors on a commission, so they're not actually BBC employees as such. They work for a collection agency, but they've got no powers whatsoever. Some of them are bully boys and liars, and they'll try and scam you and try and engage you in conversation. And they'll say, oh, they'll put words in your mouth, so do not speak to him at all, or the chances are you could end up being prosecuted. So that's the fable of the story, if you like. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I did say every every month I'm going to do a video. Um, I have more or less done that. Um, so if you want to keep seeing, then let us keep seeing if there's any changes in them. I'll keep you updated if anyone do ever turn up. I've done another video where I phoned them up, called them out on this fake number they gave. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like the videos and uh, see you soon.